Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how I made this acetate lollipop flower. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, what you're going to need are three pieces of circle acetate. I'm making these a little bit larger just for the sake of the video, but I have a three inch acetate, a two and a half inch acetate, and a two inch acetate circles. Okay, what I'm going to go ahead and do um, is I'm going to take my French script um, cuddle bug embossing folder and I'm going to go ahead and run, it looks like I probably run these two at the same time, I am going to run these through my Big Shot and what I have here is I have one cutting pad down, two shims, my cuddle bug folder with the acetate in it, and the top cutting plate. Okay, I'm just going to kind of move these out of the way and go ahead and run that through. And I wanted to put in um, those two pieces of shim um, so I get a, a bigger, better impression on the acetate. So let me just go ahead and run this other guy through. shot out of the way. Okay. Okay, so now I have two pieces or three pieces of acetate. I'm going to go ahead and take my alcohol ink applicator. I have um, gold mixative and then I have alcohol inks and cranberry and caramel, which are my favorite. I'm going to go ahead and apply that. I might need to refill the ink by the time we get to the third circle, but that's okay. Um, you only want to do a couple drops of the gold because it'll um, come out pretty bold um, once you start applying the ink on the acetate. Okay, so you're just going to um, use a pouncing motion to get the color on. And the alcohol ink dries pretty fast, so um, you don't have to wait too long for that to set, which is really cool. Okay, so while that's sort of setting in, um, I'm going to go ahead and do the brad, which is going to hold my lollipop flower together. So this is just a plain um, silver metal brad. I've already sanded it down with my sanding block. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to go ahead and pounce um, some of the color onto the brad so it matches the flower. Okay, so you'll see that it's now no longer silver, so it'll match the, um, the flower. Okay, now what I'm going to go ahead and do, so this is pretty much dry already, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to take my stays on um, ink, and what I want to do is bring out the French script a little bit on the acetate, so I am just going to make sure that this is lying flat, and I'm just going to sort of rub my stays on ink pad over the acetate. Okay, and just sort of brush it, and stays on dries really fast, so, so you'll see now the script um, is popping out a little bit with the black ink. Okay, and you want to go ahead and do that. Um, you're going to get ink on you, but that's okay. It'll dry pretty quick. Okay, and I'm using a craft sheet here. You want to make sure you use a craft sheet because this gets pretty messy. Okay. And all of this stuff will come off the crop sheet. Um, nothing, literally, I've used so many things on this crop sheet, and nothing sticks to it. Okay, so let me just close some of these inks really quick here, because we don't need these anymore. Okay, now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I am going to take my Versamark, 
and I am going to edge each of my layers of the flower with Versamark and be pretty generous. Okay, and then I'm going to throw it in the embossing tray there. Or the embossing powder tray. That's the tray that I used to catch the powder. I'm going to go ahead and take my embossing powder and I am going to go ahead and apply that. And you want to get, you know, a good generous amount on there. and do is get your heat gun. because I want to be able to curl the edges. Layers are flying around here. still these two have cooled off so basically what you're going to do at that point is just take each of the layers and set them on top of each other and then what I do is I take my big bite to punch a hole in the center and um, I really am bad with eyeballing so what I usually do is just put a mark where I'm going to punch the hole in there and there you go that's exactly how I made this little guy but I just made a little bit of a bigger version I used a little bit more Versamark on here I was pretty generous with it but you don't have to be so generous and just you know sort of just get the edging 
But anyways, um, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Thanks. Bye.